All right, quick review. I have lots of packing to do still. This is a going on camping. Uh, this is a DB Power action camera. This is what it comes in. It came in a bigger box, of course, but this is the gist of it. You open it up. You got your selfie stick. You got a bunch, like every attachment you could want for a GoPro. It's it's a GoPro knockoff, Chinese made. Um, we got a remote. The camera itself with waterproof housing and a housing backplate replacement, an extra bolt thing, and a second battery, and instruction manual in case you don't know how to use it, then a crap ton of Velcro straps and everything. Uh, it is a hard shell carry case. I actually only used this to carry my drone around because it was smaller than what my drone was in before, and then my other drone doesn't even have a carry box, so I just used this. They are DB power, but we're just going to toss that aside because nobody cares about half those attachments because nobody uses them really. Um, it goes in here, just like normal GoPro. Oh, I forgot to get that bolt out. Yep, right, just goes in like normal, like every other GoPro on Earth and GoPro knockoff. This one is 4K with Wi-Fi. This is the $80 version. And so it comes with a selfie stick. Um, it's not that good of one because if you have it here and you twist it just a little to the side, it just it would just it just doesn't stay very well. Um, like I can get to it right now, and this is actually the longest it's ever stayed in one place. Usually it just quickly just like it just see it just rotates super easy. It's a very, very cheesy, very kind of crappy selfie stick. I took it in water and stuff, and as you can see, after the water, it started to rust. And that might be why it's actually staying right now. It's because it's starting to rust and deteriorate, and yeah, so selfie stick is crap. Uh, selfie stick, though, comes with a standard screw-on mount, so you can put lots of things on here. I have a... I have a phone stand holder thing that has the same type of hook in, so I can just hook this with this, and then also with my uh, phone holder, so I can use it for my phone as well. But the phone, it just it just twists, it just twists. But yeah, this thing, you can unscrew it and screw it and change the angle. Like every other selfie stick, yeah, you're better off buying the crap like five dollar ones at Walgreens uh, than this thing, because th this thing is. Pretty crap, and it even for some reason it even labeled monopod, but it's not a monopod, it's a selfie stick, so that's crap. But this, the camera, is actually pretty good. I uh, turn it on by pressing the whole front button here, like normal. Well, let's just pull it out of the case real fast. So there it is, it's just like that. There's a micro SD slot here. You gotta make sure you get the ultra high class ones in order, if you want to do 4K. 4K is limited to 25 frames per second. We got micro USB charging and then a mini DPI port, or um, mini HDMI. And then you press up to get Wi-Fi, or to view stuff, and then to get Wi-Fi, what was that? Let's see here. Um, I can't remember how to go back. Sorry about this. Uh, there's pictures of the Eclipse. Yeah. Didn't turn out so well with the camera, I tried it. Thought it'd be cool. Let's just turn it off. So th that is something I've noticed too, is navigating this thing is kind of crap sometimes. But I do have to say that when it comes to the 1080p 60 frames per second, it works out really well. Um, it also, I oh, forgot this, has a remote. You can click it to just record, and then it'll auto start recording See there, it turns red. Press it again and it stops. And then camera mode, you can just click it, it'll auto just take a camera picture. It's pretty cool. It's got a couple different modes. It's got burst shot. And then this is a timer countdown. Even though in the settings here, they call it uh, time lapse. It is not a time lapse. When you set these seconds and you press the timer function mode and press go, it doesn't take a picture every three seconds, every five seconds, or every 60 seconds. It only does it uh, once. It just takes the one picture done. 
And let's see, other than that, we got a continuous lapse uh, setting. We got your burst photo settings. You can change, uh, if you go into burst photo, you can see how many you want. You can turn it on or off. Um, you can change your photo resolution. It goes up to 12 megapixels. Um, video resolution, this is where you know everybody wants. So it has 1080p 60 frames, 30 frames, 720, 120, 720, 60, and then it's 4K 25, and then 2.7K at 30. Um, oh, you couldn't see those. There you go. There's all the different modes. Uh, you have to have the ultra high class SD card inside to do that. Um, and let's see here. Go back. Looping video. I haven't tried it at all. I don't even know what that's for. I'm, I'm, I'm sure if that's a, maybe that's a translation error because it just says off or on for 10 minutes. And I don't know what that means. Timestamp, of course. Exposure settings. Photo resolution. It's all the same stuff. Um, that you find on all of them. And then upside down mode, this is something I did like because you can take it and turn it upside down so that the screen flips and records the other direction as well. So you can have it as a camera mount in your car. So you could use this as a car dash cam, which is pretty cool. Uh, it's got screen saver just turns off the screen after X number of minutes of it being on. Power saves turns off the camera after X number of minutes of not being used. And that's everything. That's all the settings. That's everything. And now here's a video clip with sound. It is positioned around two feet from my face. Testing one, two, three. Testing one, two, three. And now here's a video montage. <laughs> Miss your cherry kisses on my chin Ooh, Molly, are you stuck in nostalgia?